respect the spider's habitat for once in my life. Good man. So what is the Everglades? What, what does that even mean? Everglades, it translates into river of grass. And as that water is flowing through the Everglades, it's being filtered out by the salt grass, by the cattails, all of your aquatic vegetation. That's why it's so crystal clear. That is surprising because I thought it would be all mucky. I know, right? It would be a mud fest. That's one of my favorite things is bringing people back here that were expecting to see this dark, nasty, swampy water. And they're like, oh my god, it's crystal clear. You can see everything inside of it. Is that seaweed? It looks like seaweed. It's called bladder wood. It sounds like an infection. <laughs> it does. It's actually the world's most advanced carnivorous plant. So if you hold it for too long, you're going to come away with just bony nubs. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. But it is carnivorous. So this is like the Venus flytrap of the swamp. In a way. For your aquatic microorganisms and maybe even up to mosquito larva. Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounded like an alligator splash. It sounded like from over there. Whoa. Yeah, it gets really nice and deep here. Which is relaxing because I've heard that there are 20 foot pythons floating around down here. Oh, oh, yeah. So, are those bubbles I see coming up from alligators beneath you? That's the uh, decomposition going on between the cypress needles, all the decaying ferns, all the decay is producing the methane. I feel like I'm in a witch's cauldron. The witch is brew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm selling my shoes for $150. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, sir. In the quest for the alligator, we stumbled upon a small snake curled up in a fern. What kind of snake is it? It's a brown water snake. They're not venomous. His eyes were a little glazed over because he was molting. So after checking him out, we moved on and let him shed his skin in peace. You can see a pretty cool, very rare orchid here in a second. Are there orchid thieves? Yes, and that's why it's so rare. People actually come into the Everglades and illegally collect orchids. This is your cow horn orchid, aka cigar orchid. It's hideous, I find it repellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's really not much to it right now. They're pretty flowers, they really are, but you guys missed it by just about a week or so. This is the spare where the splash came from. They're really not out to get you, but there have been instances throughout Florida where alligators have attacked and killed people. So yeah, you don't want to disturb them too much. Aha. We've got a female right here. You can just see it through these cypress trees. There are typically two or three alligators that hang around here. One of them is about 10, 11 feet long, and the other one is this one. That's the small one. That's the small one. That looks like Doesn't a look so small one. Yeah. Males will grow until the day they die. Females generally stop growing at about 9 or 10 feet long. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> look, I'm putting her to sleep. You will do my bidding. Oh, yes. <laughs> In the end, this enchanting fairyland far exceeded my expectations. But my next destination was beckoning. So we slowly made our way back to the road where I said goodbye to Alex. Thank you so much, dude. Absolutely. Can I keep the stick? Sure. My pleasure, man. Oh my god, that was awesome!